here we are again in my studio. Thanks again for visiting me. We're here at Art of the Carolinas. Uh, today we're going to do a quick little mountain scene, a little brook scene, early morning brook. I'm going to show you how to do, put some mist in there and just quickly we're going to do what? We're using acrylics. We're using them washes. I'm using a uh, art board by um, Arches. It's a heavy, heavy board. It doesn't buckle when you put water on it. Uh, the acrylics are just a, just a beautiful acrylic. Before you use your acrylics, put a little bit of retarder in each one of them. Spray them with a little mist. They'll stay there all day like that. I'm using about a number four to six brush, long bristle brush. Well, what I'm going to do first, now I like to put my darks in first. Basically, watercolor people put the lights in first, but I can control my darks. We're going to do a quick little mountain scene here, and all of a sudden you'll see this scene come to life. With your brush a little bit. Let's take a quick little beautiful, beautiful green right in here. Dark green, dark green. Take some of this uh, cobalt blue. We'll add a little bit of green to it. Let's go a little bit. That's a little bit too much water here. But let's, green. Let's go a little deeper. The ultramarine blue. Don't mix it so you get soup. Mix it so you can see some of that color. Now I'm going to put this wash right in here. It's a massive color. Okay. Now, let's put a little water with this. Watch how beautiful this color goes in there. You play around with it, but don't play around so you just get get a lot of different colors in here. Okay? This is the dark colors. As they go up here, the light's coming from that direction. Okay? Now, let's put some of the middle colors in there. Let's go into these middle. Look for masses of color, okay? Kind of a cerulean, beautiful cerulean color in there. A little bit of water in there with it. We're just putting washes in this. A little more cerulean. I like that cerulean. Kind of a cool color, nice color. Look how nice. Look at the pretty little greens you got in here. Okay. Now we're going to get into the whole picture, but I'm starting out with my darkest masses first. Okay. Let's go into some of this beautiful color right through here. Now that's basically a gray bluish gray. Mix a nice gray, take an ultramarine blue, put the color right here. A little bit, bunch of it right here. Clean your brush. Pick up some burnt sienna, which is a low value of red. Okay? Put it right here. Now take the two colors and move back and forth a little bit with them. Now, take your white. Bring it in. Look at these nice grays you end up getting. Okay? And we're going to take those grays, kind of a, the dark color right here. We're going to go right into here. The bluish gray, maybe a little bit warmer as you get out towards the edge. Just a little more water with that. Just get that to go in there. You make grays with the complements. Black and white doesn't make a good gray because black has all three primaries in it. If you want to make a little darker, add a little bit of red to that blue, just a little bit. Okay, it'll make it a little bit darker. A little bit too much red, but that's okay. We'll go in here, a little blue, back and forth. Let's play with it a little bit. Look at all the colors we got here. We got 10, 15 different varieties of that gray. A little water to it. Now, color's relative. If you get the right value, and the color doesn't mean anything if you don't get the right value, and, but you have to have the right value. Okay. Let's see how quickly this comes to life in a few minutes here. Get a little dark blues in here. Much darker as it comes right at the edge. You see these dark rocks? See them? A little darker. Don't play with your colors too much. Just put them in there. Let them move around a little bit. Okay. You come down here, it's, very, it's a bluish with a purple. I've got a nice purple here. I'm going to add a little blue to it. Mix a little white back and forth. Some water in here. I like these washes. Okay, now let's go into some of the warmer colors up here. 
warmer colors here, warm greens, okay? A little higher intensity. Add a little bit of a grain down here, a little water. Okay. Oops, a little too much. Okay. Keep plenty of uh, rags next to you just to keep that, keep the colors wiped off. Okay, still a little bit over there. You go. Okay. Well, let's put some nice, just nice, transparent washes in here. You see back here, there's kind of a pinkish glow back here. Let's take a little bit of the quinacridone red, okay? A little bit of white to it, just a little bit. You don't want it, you don't want it as bright as it's going to come out there. A lot of your colors get mixed on the palette. You see, all of a sudden this thing will come into life. Okay, a little more water here. Take a little bit of blue to that. Just a little bit of the uh, cobalt. Make it a little cooler. Yeah, so look how you use it. Put that blue, like come right out through here with that beautiful blue color. Okay. Okay. Now look at this beautiful blue that comes down here where the water comes down. Remember, this green is going to cast some green down into here, so we'll put that in in just a minute. couple of the blues together here. Okay. A lot of washes, a lot of washes. See that blue coming across here. Moving around here on me, okay. Now let's take a little bit of white, just pure white here, okay? Put a little bit of white on here. Let's watch what happens when you put just a little bit. Don't, don't mix it to the point where it's... Now here you're actually painting. You're going to paint it right on there. You'd be surprised how quick you can make a beautiful little scene. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it. Look how the water kind of comes over the falls here, over the over the rocks rather. Take a little bit of that. Just kind of get a little bit more white here. A lot of white right down through there. Okay, let's get some darker blues right through here. You get the color. Your palette is right here. This is where you work from. We call this technique is basically called scumbling. You're scumbling the color on, okay? Put a little of that dark right over here. Bring it up. Okay, you can have a lot of fun with this. Put a couple little more darks. We got that we're missing right in these rocks, right in here. See them? These are your darks. 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 Okay. Another rag. Have plenty of rags ready. Okay. White as the water comes up back to the water. This is down in Greenbrier in the Great Smoky Mountains. In early morning, you get a lot of mist. You get that. Now. I told you that green ref will be refracted light. It'll go right in here. Take very light. Put a little bit of light in your green here that you've already made. Watch what will happen here. Let's use a little water with it. That light reflects right down into here. It's from those trees there. See, re refracted light comes right down in here. Okay. Put a little bit more into the lights right in here. You know, we've got a nice dark and put that dark in there and I'm going to leave it alone. You can create some beautiful little sleeves and you don't take a lot of time with it either. First of all, you're not going to see this scene will probably last maybe at the most an hour. 
Okay, right here. Beautiful dark. See that shape of dark? Start half as dark as you see it, then go a little dark, go a little darker. Okay, now we got one more little color I'm going to add in. A little bit of cerulean. Kind of a wash. Right up in here. Give you a nice little cool it down a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is as far as we're gonna go with this today. It's gonna get a little bit wet. You can let it dry a little bit, go back the next morning, do a little more work on it. You can build it up with pastels. There's a whole lot of things you can do with this little picture. This is a lot of just play with color, with values. Remember, values establish the form of the objects. If you want to make a color go back, you got to make it less intense. It's called color perspective. Again, my name is Dick Ensing. I'm a Tennessee artist. You visit me at my website, dickensingartist.com. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.